What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung has had battery troubles in the past. Their infamous Galaxy Note 7 fiasco doesn't need any introduction. But it looks like Samsung may not have left all of its battery problems completely in the past. They found themselves into this battery mess yet again. And it may not be as serious as before, but it does need your attention and what you can do to avoid it. We always find like one or maybe two phones where the battery is swollen up. And we have to get rid of it. And every single time it's been a Samsung phone. It's never been any other brand of phone. The battery had expanded so much that it's actually cracked the glass on the back and it literally split the phone in two. Do you think this has anything to do with what we saw with the Note 7? I think they would probably be different situations, but either way, since it's Samsung in both instances, something's wrong with their quality control. So Mr. Who's the Boss and some other content creators have noticed that batteries in Samsung phones are swelling up. And it's not happening to one or two phones, but multiple Samsung phones. Arun has hundreds of phones stored in identical conditions from different brands. And interestingly, only Samsung phones are affected by this problem. The batteries in all these phones expanded to the point where the rear glass panel separated itself from the rest of the chassis. First of all, if you're worried that your Samsung phone might do the same, then please don't. There is no need to be worried because this is not a widespread issue. I can assure you, you're not going to experience the same battery swelling in your phone because this is only affecting a small number of units that are stored without use for years. If you're using the phone even for a few times in a year, you have absolutely no need to worry about this thing. Battery swelling isn't a new problem. As lithium ion batteries age, the chemical reaction between the ions can produce gas and thus the battery swells. And this isn't unique to Samsung either. Every OEM's phone, including the iPhones, experience this on a consistent basis. But compared to others, Samsung phones have a little higher rate of swelling. And I guess that has to do with the battery design that Samsung is using because all lithium ion batteries are not equal. The way a rechargeable battery's design plays a role here. So what you can do to avoid this? First of all, if you got a new phone and plan to store the old one without using it for years, charge it at 50% and store it. Because leaving it at 0% and even 100% is not a good idea as the electrolyte in batteries can decompose at a faster rate producing gas. Second, just turn the phone on at least once a year to keep the battery happy. These batteries tend to discharge gradually even when the phone is off, so a few years of sitting unused can easily leave a device at 0% which as I've said, decomposes the electrolytes faster. Now what Samsung needs to do is tweak the design of its batteries or come up with an explanation for why this is happening more frequently to their phones compared to others and fix it. But in any case, this is not as big of an issue as some people are claiming it to be because it's only affecting some stored phones. I've stored all the Samsung flagships ever since 2016 and all of them are in perfect condition. Anyway, to see the first look at the Galaxy S23 Ultra, click here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.